I got a four pounder with yeah, a nice flat. I'm working that one piece and took one. Alright guys, welcome to another poor man's product review. Although, you can't be too poor for this one. Um, I did a, a uh, uh, I don't know, a video of some sort, I don't know what, what format it was a while back, where I took walnut hulls and turned it into a, a, a blackening agent, a cold, cold blackening agent. Which works really well, <clears throat> and I've used it several times and I'm quite pleased with it. But uh, there are a few commercial pro products out there that, that do the same thing. And I apologize for this bottle, it's in rough shape. but. Uh, we're going to look at some Surefin, Surefin Easy Black 70, all right? And they make uh, several different uh, products. So Surefin.com or, or search for them, you'll find them. This is a uh, Easy this is Easy Black 70, and its purpose is to to darken or blacken steel. Uh, it's a, I don't know, it's, it's, I've used a couple of different ones. This one seems to be, I don't know, it's a little easier for me anyway. It's, uh, <clears throat> simple steps. Clean your, clean your product, get everything, and they have a special cleaner if you want to use that to help remove scale and stuff. Um, clean your, your, your part, and then either dip or spritz or whatever, apply um, the, easy, the Easy Black 70 to it, and it'll darken your product. So let's take a look at that, oh, and then when you're done, all you have to do is rinse that, pro that part off of water. So let's, uh, let's walk through, I got a, uh, a coat rack that I'm working on. Some of the parts, I think, are, are reclaimed steel that they found, they had it, uh, <clears throat> on site. And it looks to me like they've already been darkened, but I've added components to it, and I have accessory components that I'd like to have darkened, uh, and then I have uh, hooks as fur coats and stuff that uh, I think I might just leave plain. I may not darken those, but we'll see what happens. Uh, but just a quick little review. Uh, let's take a look. All right, I think um, this stuff would probably work a little better if it wasn't so cold. Your parts should be, I, I, think, I think having them warm is good, but it's cold in the shop today, and, so, and that's what we're going to do. Let's start off with, uh, let's just take this one, this one piece for out of here. <clears throat> Again, try to clean it, get it, get it clean as best you can. Now this, um, got a little bit of something there, schmutz. This, um, this bar I believe has already been uh, blackened with some agent, I don't know what, so we're going to learn together here and see what happens going over it. The key, and actually the, these bars are good just the way they are. A little beat up. <clears throat> I gotta buy some good gloves. I hate these gloves. Um, I can't get them on my hand. Read the precautions on the label. Make sure you know what you're doing. Or at least taking take responsibility. By the way, this stuff is somehow water-based because it does freeze in the shop. I had to take this home and, uh, and thaw it out so I could use it today. Um, I don't want to waste a lot of the product. Let me cut this rag in half. Um, dipping it's probably the best thing to do, but in this case, these these, lar these long rods I can't dip. So let's go ahead and just use a smaller rag. We're just going to soak this rag up. I don't want to waste any of it. You get it on your welding table, it's going to turn your table black. Guarantee. All right. It appears when well, the rag was dirty, but it appears nearly clear on the on the. Uh, rag and then we're just going to wipe it on and instantly you're going to see that stuff start to darken. Now there were spots on these rods where there was some rust and it is not covering over that but I don't think that uh, that's not we didn't want that we like we like the age look but I just wanted to even that blackness out. So you take a look at that and it is darkening where it had already had darkening agent. So that's good for me it's looking really really nice in comparison hopefully you can see the difference it's much darker than these guys let me just I don't want to spill anything out. all right this one here that's what we just did so that's going to work well the next so using that same rag all right again this stuff goes a long way that's the nice thing about it here's a piece of relatively clean steel and just by wiping it on she's going to get darker I think I need a little more stuff. All 
All right, they say let it sit for 60 seconds. <clears throat> Hopefully we can get some type of even darkening, darkness between the rod and, and these shiny pieces that I just cleaned up and welded. So we'll let that sit and see if it gets less dark. We'll try another one here. We'll try this rod here. That's darkening up down there. And you, got, you got the sun in the, in the picture too here. And again, you dip this stuff and you're gonna know it for sure. We'll go ahead and do this rod. And we might end up putting a couple of coats on this just to get the darkness that I want. Let that sit for a minute. And I'll give you an example. Here's the here's one of the brackets, the one that I just darkened. And there's what it was to begin with. Alright? So not exactly black, but we're getting there. Go over it again without rinsing. Let me let me see if I can do that or if I gotta go through a whole rinse cycle. Yeah, see now I'm more generous with this stuff and it's blacking right up. Beautiful. So again, these parts I probably could have dipped. Now when you're working on like a large flat surface like a sheet of uh, steel, um, you, you get, you're going to have to really practice so you don't end up with streaks or um, yeah, streaks or spots, things like that. These pieces are relatively small and I'm not too concerned about that. Okay, so we'll just let that sit a minute. This one had the second coat, and then you can see it's much darker now. Not totally black, but much darker. And this rod back here is ready to rock and roll. They said they said 60 seconds, and then uh, water. That's the nice thing about this, you don't have to neutralize it with anything. Uh, just plain old water. And, you know, they say rinse it, but with this rod, what can I do? So we're just going to wipe it off generously with water. They have uh, videos. Go to their website. They have videos showing this process. And now we're just going to let that dry. And that's it. That's kind of all there is to it. You, uh, oops, no, I don't want that one. Wipe it on. And then rinse it off. And I think you can go back. Obviously, I'll put a second heavier coat on this, and it worked well. And you can just keep going on there until you until you get the the darkness that you want. And then from there, you would seal it, right? It's not a protective coating, I don't believe. So from there, you would go ahead and seal it. Um, poly after everything's dry, poly or clear coat or whatever it is that you normally use. Simple, simple, and you get a nice, nice, beautiful dark. Steel. All right, and just to give you another example, and a few seconds ago, this was this. All right. Good. All right, I'm finishing this up. Hope you enjoyed it. Poor man's product review. Uh, again, find it online. Bottles of these are, are darn near. Our gallon jug of this is like a hundred dollars. Um, this little sample bottle, I think, was thirteen or fourteen dollars. Easily do what I have there. That's for sure. Uh, it, a, a little bit goes a long way. Keep the rag and just do, or the paintbrush or the spritz bottle, whatever you use. Um, and it, you can cover a lot of material with, with, with this liquid. It's very thin. So I like it. I use it when I'm not using my walnut stuff. The only reason I didn't use my walnut stuff today, just so you know, is that the walnut doesn't like to darken clean steel, stuff that's been you know brought up to a shine. Uh, over scale, over rust, that walnut darkening agent works beautifully. But uh, over something that's clean, clean steel, it just doesn't have the same effect on it. That's why I use easy, Surefin Easy Black. Get it at your local online store. Yeah, get it at Surefin. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Take care.
If you found this video uh, helpful, educational, maybe even if you just found it entertaining, uh, and you want to support me, you can jump back to my channel. There's a button on the right-hand side of the screen called support. And it's kind of like a tip jar. You can go ahead and leave channel a tip for this video, and that'll help me make some more. I guarantee. Thanks for your support, as always.